Welcome to Calculate Survival. I'm Eric. I went through one of the toughest um, individual land navigation courses that the military had to offer. It was called Special Forces Assessment and Selection. Um, we had one week long of individual land nav courses, and I'm going to briefly talk to you about compasses. There are so many different compasses out in the market, so I'm sure there's a lot of confusion. The first one I have here is actually the compass I used uh, during that land navigation course. This is uh, Army um, Lenzetta Compass. This one will run anywhere from $100 to $120. The next one I'll show you, which is a mid-grade compass, and it's a very good compass, is a Silva. This will run anywhere from about $45 to $60. This next compass is about a five or six dollar compass. Uh, I'll talk briefly about this one. This one will work, but it's not going to be your best compass out there. And then finally, this one is a two or three dollar compass. The needle kind of doesn't really float, so we're going to do that. So if we look at this compass really quick, we can see that it floats very nicely. So when I'm holding it to take it, I'm going to be able to float. I'm not worried about it really getting stuck. The, to shoot an azimuth, it's pretty good because I can line up. I can see where my dots are going. And I have a lens that will blow it up for me so I can read my numbers because they're small. The next one I have, which is the Silva. This compass here has the mirror. It has a shooting line up here. The mirror I can look back down and see. This one here floats pretty well. This one's also very good for when you're just land nabbing and holding it um, to take your azimuth and walk in azimuth in the degree. Also has your uh, declination diagram setter. So this is a pretty good compass to be using even for land nav courses. <clears throat> this one here is a five or six dollar compass. I'm actually surprised at how well that it actually floats. It will get stuck a little bit, so it's not going to be the total accurate. You're going to have to hold it really straight in order to make sure it lines up. But for $6, this is not a bad compass to always have in your pack. Um, at least to, you know where north, west, south is. You can use a map to shoot to a trail maybe. This one will be good for that for $6. What we're going to do in the future is we're going to shoot three more, at least three more programs. We're going to go out to our land nav course we had. We're going to do the points with all three compasses and we're going to see how accurate each compass is. And I'm really excited to see this, this little $6 compass, how well we can shoot and get to our points or how far we're off. So stay tuned and uh, we'll let you know which compass to buy, depending on what you're trying to accomplish and how each one of them works.